Yo, welcome back to Gemmin Collectibles. It's your boy Gemmin, aka Infinity Gems. Gotta be honest, I'm a little upset right now. As you can see, I have a unboxed, put together XM Studios Phoenix. I love the Phoenix, don't get me wrong, it's a dope piece. But I try to do something different and I try to film my unboxing and review with my laptop, my webcam, my Blue Yeti mic so that you had that good sound. I was hoping that the webcam would be better quality. But as I was like chopping it up, I'm like, damn, this quality sucks. The background's blurry. I'm looking like scrunched in and everything. So it was fucked up. I don't even want to upload it um, just because the quality is not there. Um, I could really tell because I did close-up shots with my cell phone and the cell phone pics uh, video looks great, man. So... I figured what I would do is just uh, a regular review with my cell phone, like I've been doing all these videos. I mean, shit, it's been working this well so far. I tried to switch it up. So anyway, enough of that. You got XM Studios Phoenix. Crazy piece, man. First of all, I don't even know where I'm going to put this thing because it's like 30 inches tall. I don't really have any um, size best of cubes where I can fit it without rearranging a hell of a lot of shit. I have XM Studios cable coming in, uh, not tomorrow, but Thursday, and I wanted to have them near each other, so I don't know. I got to figure out what the hell I'm going to do. Um, but with that being said, let's review the piece. There's a lot of reviews on this already. It's about two years old. Um, this is my first uh, piece with this much translucent resin. And it really grew on me, man. It reminds me of like that blowing glass shit. You ever see that at like the Renaissance Festival or something like that? But um, I wasn't always sold on it. I actually pre-ordered the XM Studios Dark Phoenix, which this is, you know, regular Phoenix. And then you got Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix is engulfed in flames that are painted just like the XM Studios Ghost Rider. And I really like that. But um... I was eyeballing this piece. I, I needed some more female statues. I wanted to get some more X-Men statues. And then uh, I happened to see this on uh, Facebook for a really good deal. Best price I've ever seen for it. Eight fifty dollars shipped. You know, some might say that's still a lot of money. But when you're in the statue game, especially buying XM pieces, it's a pretty good deal. So eight fifty dollars shipped. Um, I, the only problem with it, I can't really get it all the way to sit flush with this foot peg and I've tried pretty hard um, but I don't want to break it obviously so it might looks like it wobbles a little bit when I move it around but it's sturdy I mean it's a long peg right anyway um, the base is a sentinel base the paint job is crazy because they really made it look like a, an oil stain like it's blue and purple and uh, there's like these burnt cracked burn marks that have tinges of red in them and obviously the fire's coming out of the um the base there is some pipes and some like copper wiring on the inside uh you'll see in the close-ups i already shot the close-ups you'll see like all the intricate details but the base is a massive base uh then you have these two big flames that connect here with a peg and you know and they both connect into the base with a peg and a magnet that go up into this big phoenix, all resin. It kind of reminds me of a bong. That's what it reminds me of. Like back in the day, <laughs> when crazy bongs. That's the same type of shit. Now the texture, it feels different than I thought it was going to feel. I don't know. It feels almost sticky, a little bit sticky, sandy. I don't know. I thought it was going to feel more like a bong, I guess. It's not as heavy. It's not like thick glass. It's clear. It's a resin. So maybe that's what it is. Um, what can you say about the sculpt of this piece and of Jean Grey? Crazy detail. Um, you couldn't ask for a better sculpt. Uh, it comes with three heads or three portraits. This one is my favorite because it's the only one with the widened out eyes and the hair that's all in the air crazy. In the close-ups, I'll show you, um, the other portraits better. Plus, you know, you, you, you know I switch them out right now. You can't really see them that well. So this is my first Marvel female piece. This is my first XM piece that came with the coin. None of my other uh, XM pieces have it. So it's got the little coin. I, I show a close-up of that. 
in the uh, in the close up parts. But um, it's a great statue, man. Uh, the wingspan is about eight. Is it eighteen inches? I believe it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was about eighteen inches. It stands like thirty. Is it thirty one or? Just just about thirty inches tall, so it's a big piece. I'm really conflicted on where to put it because I kind of want to start getting all my Spider Man stuff near each other. Start working on this X Men area that I that I have planned out. I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. Anyway, um, definitely a, a great piece. I think with X M, the trick is really to. Uh, Wait till after the release, man. They they go for much less on the aftermarket. I don't know if that's going to be a continuing trend, but it certainly seems like all those Spider-Man villains, you know, uh, even Cable and Venom uh, have have gone down a, a lot in price. Ghost Rider, I've seen for fifteen hundred, it was going for like up to three grand. So all the XM stuff has been uh, selling for cheaper on the aftermarket. It's a terrible time to sell. In my other video, I did talk about the paint. I mean, it does have the classic XM paint. Super clean, but not as detailed, not as much shadow, I would say. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I would go as far as to say it's flat. The green looks a little flat. The gold looks really good, and I feel like you can see shadowing in the gold. But honestly, when you're looking at this thing, you're not really looking at the detail in the green. You're looking at that crazy resin phoenix the body sculpt of Jean Grey, her curvatures give you the detail. So, I mean, I guess you could say uh, it didn't really need it on the paint job. But I could see some like, some custom painter going in there when shading it really good with blacks would take it to that next level. I'm not touching it. I still got to figure out where the hell I'm going to put this. It deserves a spot with bright lights around it. Hopefully, I figure out a place to put it, and then I'll add that video at the end. But until then, uh, check out the, um, the close-ups. All right, y'all, here's some close-ups of the XM Studios Jean Grey. I'll tell you what, it looks really good in the camera. Just take a quick up and down on her. So you can see what I'm saying. So there's a lot of detail in this base. Check this out. So you got... That mechanic looking stuff you can see where it's like reddish here but then the rest of the bluish purple kind of oil slick colors you got those wires or whatever they are and see I didn't even notice all this it's like cracked fire burnt type of metal very nice here goes the bottom right here You can see that kind of like oil slick kind of paint. All right. So you get up to the flame, you can see that resin. Now here you can see where I don't feel like she's sitting all the way in there. There's a, a, a metal peg going in there, but I don't know. It feels like the foot should go all the way in. I'm not trying to force it in and snap that shit. We've all seen Jam Angry. And you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. So this flame's coming out the back. See, and it sticks to there with a peg. This is what you don't really see in pictures, but you don't really see it also when uh, displayed. That ass. All right. I see you, Gene. All right, swing it around. Here goes a picture from the back. I mean, this is like... This is a cool piece because I don't want to say that the base steals the show, although it's a very, you know, gorgeous base for lack of another word. But, you know, Jean ain't so bad herself. So it's not like it really steals the show. It's just, it's a great base and a great um, body and, and everything. Crazy hair portrait with the white eyes. We'll go ahead and we'll switch out to, so you guys can see the other two heads. 
So here's another one of the portraits. With the hair is looking more 70s. That 70s show. With like a mean kind of face. Stern faced. And that hair is kind of like globby. Then this one is like more fine straight hair. With like a regular looking face. But here's what she looks like with the um, kind of mad face. Doesn't really look that bad to be honest. I kind of like it. Kind of like it. I probably would use this every now and then. Uh, this portrait I wouldn't use. Even though this is not like Dark Phoenix. It looks a little too innocent for me. And like, oh, I'm just the most powerful being ever. No big deal. Although it is pretty cool how the hair goes down the back like that. That's the problem with XM, man. They give you all these heads. Where am I supposed to keep all these heads, man? Buy one of them suitcase things? Anyway, here is the um, the coin that comes with it. It says uh, Marvel Jean Grey XM Studios Limited Edition. I guess a coin came with a certain limited amount. And the back has... Can't really see. There you go. So cool to have the coin, my first XM coin. All right, y'all, got her in a Vesta. That's where she's gonna go for now. I figure I'll get Cable there, Weapon X there. But this is how she looks. With that clean white background with the lights. But there she goes, yo. In person, it looks good. I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but it looks good. All right, there you have it. There's the close-ups. Sorry I fucked this up and I didn't get to do the unboxing, but I did a review. We spun it around. You got to talk to your boy, Jen, for about 15, 20 minutes, and you saw some close-ups. That's going to have to be good enough for y'all. Tomorrow, I do have the Carnage life-size bus coming in. That should be a dope little unboxing and review. And then I'll put it next to the um, life-size Venom that I have in the packs out there. Uh, Thursday, I mentioned I got XM Cable coming in. So it was a, a nice uh, statue heavy week. I sold off like four pieces and I bought three. So kind of canceled each other out. Um, if this is your first time watching, I usually do a whole unboxing. And I am going to figure out a way to do these videos with my Yeti mic so you get that good sound quality. But anyway, make sure you subscribe. I do other videos besides statues. I do omnibus hauls and collection videos. I read my shit too, so I do recent reads. I do a weekly live show with my man Milton the Manimal. This Sunday, we are doing the History of Spider-Man Part 2, which is going to be all the Venom and Symbiote shit. It's going to be a dope-ass show. That's my area of expertise. Really knowledgeable about that run and that whole storyline, so... Make sure you uh, tune in this Sunday. It's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, and stay minty fresh, man. I mean, why the hell not? Got to stay minty. Peace.